Yeah, so a lot we do is try to make new neurons in a dish. And these neurons we make from different sources. To be able to make a neuron in a dish, oh, uh, nice, we actually. study how these neurons oh, are nice. formed normally during development. And then we try to apply this knowledge into the cells that we keep in the culture dishes. So then we take the cells that we created in the dish and we transplant them into uh, animal models of brain disease. And normally we use uh, the rat model uh, for Parkinson's disease. And then we test how these cells uh, survive and function once they're transplanted uh, back into a brain. So this is uh, a model of the human brain and this is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, and the structures that we try to uh, create new neurons in is based here deep within the brain. But about two years ago uh, my group had this breakthrough discovery where we found that you could take uh, skin cells and then deliver a, a combined set of genes to oh, these skin so cells and that would reprogram them. them into neurons. And the type of neurons that we got were the dopamine neurons, which are the type of neurons that are affected in Parkinson's disease. So this is of course good in itself because it's a new way of generating neurons in a dish and you could take the patient's own skin cells and make patient specific neurons to be used for transplantation or disease modeling. And then another thing with this technique, and this is what uh, the ERC project is about, is that you can skip the, the, the stage in the petri dish totally and instead reprogram cells directly in the brain. So in the brain we have the neurons yeah, and we also have other types of cells, and these are the glial cells. Yeah. Uh, so the project is about trying to use this technique to reprogram glial cells in the brain directly into neurons. And then uh, these neurons will be functional and in the long run be able to then replace for the function of neurons that are lost in specific diseases such as the dopamine neurons in Parkinson's disease. So here we have a rat brain that's been transplanted with cells. So the brain is frozen and then this is a very sharp blade. Uh, that cuts the brain into very, very thin slices. Uh, they're been stained with an antibody so we can recognize our cells and then mount it up onto this glass. And then this is what we look, uh, use to look in the microscope. The group here in Lund actually developed this technique for patients with Parkinson's disease and transplanted patients in the 80s and early 90s. And uh, one of the problems with this is that there's just not enough cells. In these studies, they used uh, aborted embryos. Uh, so this is where we continuously try to develop new cells that can be used in patients. And uh, in the spring, we're doing a new trial, which is, which is an EU-based trial, with these fetal cells. Um, and for this, we then have a team of basic scientists and uh, clinicians, neuro neurologists and neurosurgeons, um, where they will graft then cells into patients. And we hope that in the near future, so within the next uh, number of years, uh, be able to graft uh, stem cell derived dopamine neurons into patients. So my experiments, we, in my group, we do it in rat models in the extended team that I work in here in Lund, we do, we kind of transfer the knowledge from the animal models and actually do graftings in patients with Parkinson's disease.